All right, today we got a concealed carry video for you guys. My top three firearms to carry in 45, 9mm, and 380. So, should be a pretty cool video. I got a lot of questions about, hey, do you like this gun better, this gun better for concealed carry, all that kind of stuff. So, today I'm going to kind of give you a, a broad overview of the guns that I like to carry in those calipers. I'm going to tell you why I like that gun, at least in this moment of time, because things do change. Uh, but for right now, I'm going to tell you why I like that gun in that role uh, for that reason. Some of the features, of course, I'm not going to get in, in too big of depth here because we have reviews on all of these. But just give you an idea of why I like those guns in that role. And of course, our patrons of the channel, we love you guys, man. We appreciate all the support. And please, you guys, continue subscribing, hitting the notification bell. Everything you guys do, man, we appreciate all of the support that you give us. So, now before I get too far ahead of myself, let me just say, when it comes to concealed carry and all that, can you guess what the most important thing is, no matter what gun you're talking about? If you said reliability, you're absolutely right. So, that's what we're looking at. So, comfort, although it may sound like it in this video reliability is just implied so just just keep that in mind i just wanted to set that up there reliability is number one and then you start looking at comfort and you know holsters and capacity and all of that kind of stuff night sight you know all of that stuff is way down the line compared to reliability now some of you may be saying well you have a p365 on the table and that gun is not known for being reliable in some people's hands. Well, when we get to the P365, we will actually touch on that a little bit. So, let's go ahead and get started. In a perfect world, carrying something like this CZ P10C every single day would be ideal. But uh, And hopefully you guys like the, uh, the little gun holders that we bought. Uh, pretty nice looking. So, uh, you know, in a perfect world, this would be the gun you know 15 rounds an extra magazine you have 30 rounds on you at all times unfortunately myself included most of us don't want to carry this much gun all the time now to be honest with you when we're talking about concealed carry most of the time when i'm talking about it i'm talking about inside the waistband carry because that's really the only thing that's legal in my state so inside the waistband carry has a couple of things that you need to know right off the bat First of all, getting a good gun belt. I have a link down below. You guys know I like core essentials. Here's my gun belt. So that's going to keep, there's a gun belt right there. Okay. So that's going to be, that's your anchor. That's what you want to make sure that you have holding the weight up. Make sure the belt's not buckling. Second, good holster. Okay. Tolster. So a, a, a carry gun like this and a holster like this, I really like these guys, obviously. I really like core essentials. This is not really a bad setup at all. But sometimes it just, it's just a little bit too much, you know, if you're a business person or, you know, you absolutely, there can be no signs of printing at all. Not that most people pay attention anyways, but there can be no signs of that. This is not going to work for you. And I, I think that for the average citizen, a gun like this or a Glock 19 or anything like that, um, for the average person, I don't think that they would go for this. I think it would stay in the safe most of the time. And that's not what we want. We want good people, law-abiding citizens, carrying guns at all times. Okay, that's what we want. Be able to protect yourself. So that's going to be out of the picture most of the time. This is a rarity. If you see me out and about, I'm probably not going to be carrying this gun. Although they do have a subcompact version coming out that I'm looking forward to reviewing. But not right now. All right. So, what about the HK VP9 SK? This, again, is one of those guns that I will carry on occasion, just not a whole lot. And the reason is it's a little bit heavier. Uh, you have 10 rounds, but you also have 10 rounds on the P365. So, it's a little bit heavier. I do love this gun, though. And I will still carry it from time to time. I, of course, got a holster for it. Um, always carrying a holster, you know, make sure that you're safe. Carrying this gun is really not much of a burden at all. It's really not. But there's better options. And like I said, sometimes you got to go with the better option. All right. So now that I've told you what I really don't carry, let's talk about what I do carry. All right. Starting with the little 380, the Ruger LCP2 specifically. 
All right, this is a six plus one, 380 gun. You know, one thing I really just, I, not that I just realized it, but one thing I do have to get is another magazine for this gun. Because I'm kind of breaking my own rules right there. You definitely, especially when you start carrying smaller guns, I always like to have a backup mag. So, there you go. I got to get a backup mag for this. But when, when things are tight and I can't be seen with a gun, but I want to have something on me, because that's my goal every single day, have a firearm on me, this is the gun. I can stick this in the, and, and to be honest with you, this thing does just fine for right now. The little holster that it actually came with, I put this in my pocket, and it's good to go. Nobody has a clue that I'm carrying a firearm. I can carry 6 plus 1 in the chamber, be really safe with it. And this thing has some cool features now, don't get me wrong. You have this grip texturing right here, okay? This isn't a shooter's gun, by the way. Not something you're going to take to the range and tell you all your friends that you had an amazing time with your Ruger LCP, but... They did do some improvements in the grip texturing, okay? They made it a little bit wider back here, so it's a little bit easier to hold on to. And really, the trigger on this gun is actually really good, okay? It's got a, it's got a hammer back here. You can see all the, the dust and stuff back here, but it's got a hammer that's cocked like that. All right, it's kind of pre-cocked, and you're finishing it. You know, whenever you pull the trigger, good, good little trigger, front and rear slide serrations. You just seen the slide kind of shoot forward. Sometimes whenever you pull it like that back to the rear, it seems like it's catching, but it doesn't. And it will, it will actually shoot forward on you. So you want to be careful of that. Um, but overall, this gun really does a nice job. Now it doesn't have anything in the way of sights. All right. This is a I don't really want to say point and shoot because obviously you want to be looking down at you. You need a sight picture on your gun, but this is up close, fear for your life type of gun. That's what this thing is designed for. Okay, but very handy when uh, when you just can't carry something bigger. All right, so like the 380, this to me is my favorite one. Uh, the Glock 42 is probably a second favorite but that's miss sex shots and that's what she carries primarily all right what about 9 mm which is probably my favorite carry round just because you get a very good cartridge you get very good capacity and overall it, it's just to me it's the best carry round um right now you know modern ammo is really really good so and right now is the p365 now this gun has been laced with uh, justified controversy because some of the issues they had when they first came out, I believe even the second or the, uh, yeah, the second gen versions had some issues, trigger return springs and mimmed parts, strikers and all this kind of stuff. They had issues. The good part about this one in my case, uh, is I haven't had any issues with it. And like I said, we are still working on the update on this gun. We're continuing every single time we go out to the range, we make sure we just shoot it, make sure that we're not going to have any issues before we do this update, but still have not had any issues. And the best thing about this gun, even if you don't like this gun, even if you don't trust this particular gun, it is setting the stage for smaller carry guns. So no longer are the days of six and seven round single stacks. Everybody knows they got to keep up with this, which is 10 rounds out of a gun that's smaller than the VP9, you know, if we just compare it just real quick, this isn't a comparison, but just to show you, if we just compare it really quick to the SIG, you can see it's a little bit longer, it's a little bit wider. Like I said, this is not a comparison, but I just want to show you guys really quickly. If we just put them on their backs, just nothing technical. You got about an inch longer in length, okay? This obviously makes for a better pocket gun, but on the belt, this gun is not really that hard to carry. Uh, wonderful sights, front and rear. Uh, night sight option, let me show you that really quick. You can see that bright front green uh, dot up there. Night sights, like I said. Grip texturing, that's great. Keeps the gun locked in your hand. Now, when I'm carrying this inside the waistband, uh, you know, it will tear up your skin, so I like to keep an undershirt between my skin and this grip. I carry it, again, Tulsar. Just like that. And I do have a backup mag for this one that I carry. This is one of their universal mag carriers. So 
if you have a 9 or a 40, it's going to work for all of your 9 and 40s, which is really nice. So you don't have to buy one carrier for each specific model. But So I did carry my backup mag, and this right now, 10 plus 1 for a gun that's really small. This is like carrying a Glock 42 almost. I mean, really, it is that small, very light, and pretty easy to shoot. I think that most people could probably handle this gun really well. Again, we got an update on the P365, and if anything, even if this gun falls flat on its face, it has set the stage for every other manufacturer to, uh, to, to come out with more capacity in a smaller gun. Right now, guys, I love my 365, and that's what I've primarily been carrying uh, for the past, what, eight months now. So there you go. There's that one. And then when it comes to 45, because I do like carrying a 45 every once in a while, and, there, and and look guys, there are better options or there are there are more options than this. This is just what I have right now. Whenever you know time goes along and 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 you know feelings change and my ideas change or whatever the case may be, we may revisit this in the future. So don't get me wrong, it's not like oh these are the only guns out there for carry. Um, but this is just what I have right now that I think is the best or my, or my personal favorite, even not even the best, but, uh, in 45, the M and P 45 shield. Now this one really started the M 2.0 lineup. All right. Front and rear slide serrations, although very small slide serrations in the front, they're still there. Updated grip texturing. So again, this is very similar to the SIG in that they are both very grippy very rough though so carrying inside of your pants uh definitely want an undershirt but this is more of a benefit when you're shooting the gun hand sweating all that kind of stuff um and this one has a six plus one capacity and then it has a seven plus one extended mag that i carry as well whenever i'm carrying this gun um decent set of steel sights there you can see my sights and everything have all kinds of dust in them because it you know, it's in my clothes. It's 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 there. I carry it. Um, and this is just an awesome 45 option. And really, when it comes to 45 uh, firearms, this gun does a great job of handling the 45, even though it is a smaller gun. So, like I said, right now, these are the guns. These are my top three, 389 and 45 options for concealed carry. Again, there's a lot of great options out there. Some are on 1911 platforms. Others, there may be some steel guns. Uh, th there's a lot of options out there. But right now, I think these guns, to me, in my opinion, for me, are the best option. So, if you guys disagree with me completely, or if you have something I should add to my list, maybe a gun that you want to see us review in the future, please leave us a comment down below. And if there, again, if there's any guns that you would like to see us review, come over to Patreon where we are taking your suggestions very seriously because you guys help keep this thing going. So we love you guys. We appreciate all the support. We'll see you in the next one. And as always, hold them down.